Just I've showed you a, a copy of Exposé, the student newspaper from yes. the campus. It's quite a, quite a looks an interesting make thing to read, really, because it updates you on everything which is happening in the university. So, I mean, that is the biggest part of Exeter. You think it's the biggest part? I think it is. I think when you think of Exeter, you you think of a university. You do? Yes. If I think of Timmouth or something like that, I don't think of Exeter University, do we? No, but if you're in Exeter, you do think of Exeter <laughs> University. So, yes, this this has been going on ever since I've been coming up to Exeter, which is a few years now, Right. about the expansion of their accommodation. Yes, student accommodation. Yes. So, so everywhere so we what, go... So what you're saying, if you think of the rest of Exeter, mm-hmm. you're thinking about accommodation now, you think... The main thing that's going on outside the campus is accommodation. But can they fit every, all these students in? That's why I say that. Well, <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm trying to think about it the other way around. Mm-hmm. Um, that if, if, this, if these new buildings are going up, what I've been told is mm-hmm. that about 20 years is what they think of, uh, will they get the money back? Mm-hmm. But they hope the building is going to stay up for more than 20 years. Mm-hmm. And if you think about um, online learning, the MOOC, and the online degrees mm. which are coming along, mm-hmm. um, companies like Coursera seem to be viable in the States. That one is um, seen as an investment. It's not a loss-making thing where the MOOCs were, nobody could understand what that was about. Um, but if that goes on over, I mean, how many, how many years did it take with the music business for the real estate to not matter very much? Years. <laughs> a long but, time? Uh, yeah, I think it's a long time, yes. Oh, yeah. well, OK, maybe they'll be all right. Mm. But what you've got, what you've got there, JD, um, so you've got a copy of Exposé, mm. uh, which you're looking at. Can you just remind me what the page number is? Um, oh. Page number four. Page number four. Under news. OK. And well, this is the 12th of November. OK, and what they've got at the top there, they've got a, a, a nice sort of graphic of a, the building development. Yes, a drawing. Which is supplied by the University of Exeter. Mm. That is the credit for that. Is this going to go on the site? You know, I haven't read it yet, so... Oh, well, um, what, what I've understood, mm. it's, it's what I always knew is hoop and fields. So mm-hmm. it's a space, a very steep uh, up and down sort of valley there's a there's a stream at the bottom you mm-hmm. can't really work out how the stream created all that mm-hmm. uh, but most of it is has always been regarded as very difficult to build on mm-hmm. so it's been an open space right um if you go if you go to the imperial hotel the weatherspoons mm-hmm. and then walk back towards the bot- sort of bottom of the university campus mm-hmm. going over towards the business school bit mm-hmm. so on one side there's the campus and on the other side mm-hmm there's fields right and you can get to that there's a a walkway on the other side Mm -hmm. which is on the back of Hoopin Street and places like that well this is this is okay if it's on their property that's fine is it JT I mean mm. one of the things they say there is that there were a lot of objections although the planning Mm. has gone through and um, access to a nature space is Mm. one of the things uh, because that that wonderful graphic mm. uh, shows lots and lots of trees Mm -hmm. but they could just as well you know, it wouldn't be too hard for anybody mm. to, to, to find that space and take a photograph mm-hmm. of the trees that are there at the moment. That's right. And are they, they having to destroy some to put it, put it up? Well, yes. you, you, you would think at the end of the building there would be fewer trees than there are now. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you th- I mean, I, I, I'm just guessing that. It's shaped in like a, um, a half a circle. That's what it looks like to me from this photograph or this mm. drawing. Mm. And it's, it's got a lot, lot of trees around it. So it may be okay because it'd be co- camouflaged <laughs> <laughs> well, by trees. You know, that's what okay. they probably want to do. Is okay. To put nature around uh, it, which is not too bad. You know, you're no, hiding a no. blot on the landscape, you say. Well, well, JD, I'm just, I'm just, I, I agree with you. As it's presented in that in expose, mm-hmm. based on this illustration, copyright the University of Exeter, mm-hmm. it looks mon- well, cr- rather wonderful. Mm-hmm. I'm just suggesting uh, that. Over the next few months, we go and have a look at the. Go and have find it. Yes. Have a look at the site, and because mm-hmm. um, the other thing they say amongst the objections, there was um, car parking. Uh huh. Is right. is going to be a problem? 
Right, I'm looking for the car parks. Well, <laughs> I if I you can't go see there, any. I think you'd need a four by four, quite a heavy duty um, <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> You need to tra- be able to cope with the gradients. I think you need traction and trailer. <laughs> and three, <laughs> <Okay>. three day <laughs> supply just to get to the house. Yes. Well, anyway. Um, well, you can only... You, you, it's, it's on paper. It's on a, a, a graphic. You know, somebody's drawn it. Yes. It, it could look totally different than that. You know, if you look at new houses, you know, people... They come up with a drawing and it looks totally different, but, you know, so, and it looks okay, you know, so you never know until you've actually got the final plans of no. how big it is. No. And now, uh, how well, of a blot of the landscape it's going to be. No. Well, look, shall we say that we welcome guests? Mm-hmm. And if somebody from Exposé or mm. the University of Exeter would, would mm. like to, to visit us, mm-hmm. but one of the things we'd like to know... Uh, or I, would, I definitely would like to know, is what the projected number of students is. Yes, for the whole the, university, yes. Yeah, how many of them are go- yes. actually going to be on campus? Cause well, it's, it's, it's important for you because you live in the city itself and so you need to know how many more people are going to be crowded in this space. Well, yeah, or, or how few, you mm, see. But yes. I, I'm just guessing mm. that more and more people will... I don't think they'll do a completely online... Uh, degree, mm. but they might well do a blended uh, situation whereby mm. they're they're on campus maybe half the year or, mm. or for a few weeks at a time, mm. and most of their study is online. Maybe maybe mixing it in with courses from somewhere else. It may if, be, if that's the case, mm, then th- mm. th- th- these investments in student accommodation may not be as sound as they appear to be. No, the half of them could not be used. You know, they, they, they're predicting something in the future. That's what they're doing. That uh, the 1,182 students will come and accommodate that area and you probably only get two. You know, so it gets debatable, really. The well, it, it gets debatable because um, Centrepoint is, at the mm. moment, you know, in London, it's the middle of London, it's, it's mm. half empty mm. because the people don't want to spend the money mm. on, on the space mm. but the, the developers have decided just to leave it empty because mm. it might change in the future I think we need somebody from the university to answer these questions because then because the, the people of Exeter would like to know them I think well certainly there's the, I can't find any figures on, mm. on what, they, what they think is going to happen no. but presumably the people who are putting up the money to build the student accommodation have got some sort of idea backing yes that's right because they're, they're putting the money up they need some backing from it or return from it you would think yes in the long run aren't they they can't just have empty rooms and that's it you know nobody paying for them it's a waste of money yes I mean that's not that's not what's happening at the moment but it it looks like a boom it looks like a, a boom maybe mm. somebody at the business school has got an idea about the nature of booms Unless you see the plans, it could be something else they're incorporating in it. So, it well, there might could be, be accommodation yeah, there might be, and something else. There might be a plan. There might be a, a, mm. a ten-year idea mm. on yes, of how it changes uh, around investment in the campus, mm. accommodation. Well, that should be open to the public, because they are taking over such a big space. Yes, and it's a big sort of a, um, we call green space. Well, it is, oh, it is a green space. Mm, yes. One of the few that we've got left. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Some might say. That's it. Anyway, well, yes. we mustn't rave on, JD. No, but it's, good, it's a good Too point, much. you see, because this is happening around you. Everywhere I go, since I've been coming to Exeter, like I said, you know, it's expanded. You know, every year there's a new accommodation for the university. <laughs> well, you put up. Yes, and the, the high street mm. is... Beca- it, I mean, when you said Exeter is the university, mm. it's as if the centre of the uni- of the city, mm. as it used to be, mm-hmm. uh, is a dormitory area, mm-hmm. uh, as if there's no knowledge or intelligence or study mm-hmm. uh, other than in the suburbs. Mm. Something like that. You're just thinking about it as a as a city. Well, it's just so quick. That's the thing. So there must be some influx of people wanting to come to Exeter to study. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, that's that's that does that's, seem to be, to be going the, on. That's the but thinking. If you go to, um, sorry, JD, would you give me the, the paper mm, back? There's the paper Cause, too. Because you, um, if you go to page, uh, 
yeah, worldwide, worldwide university news, mm. which is on page two. Mm. Uh, UK universities face bankruptcy. Right. It says here. Um, so that's some of them. Mm -hmm. And I heard about this on the Today Show, and that I, they, they don't think it's the sort of top twenty ones. It's the the lower lower ones that possibly. But I, I'm not sure. Because amongst the reasons of this are um, lifting the cap on student numbers. Mm. So Exeter, which has a good reputation, is able to expand their numbers. And, it's, and the trebling of tuition fees, it says here. So if you can just up, 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 you know, upscale it mm. and you can charge a large amount or mm. something on which there's a margin, mm. then that's fine. Mm. But... Um, is the system as a whole going to be able to sustain that sort of competition? Or is, it, is that kind of up in the numbers going I to think, be allowed? Well, I think it's putting too much into Exeter City, which is not really beneficial, should we say, to the actual city. The best is to put well, more, more be. shops what? and that sort of thing to draw the people in. But uh, if, if the university is actually adding to the city somewhere along the line, then that's OK. But if they're just ta taking from the city, then that's not good. No, well, they're contributing something, but it it, it doesn't seem to be in the, in the actual but city as we do, know it. Do we know what? <laughs> People? Uh, New buildings? <laughs> well, there's, 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 there's clearly a certain sort of shop that does exist in, in Exeter mm -hmm. that's p possibly uh, appealing to university people. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think, I think sh JD, should we just leave it there for the we moment? We leave it there. We'll we, uh, we, do some research, and we may get we may get some guests. <laughs> yes, because uh, Expo say I think is linked to a, a radio sh station. So oh, is it? oh, good. So let's go and ask them. We'll go and we'll go and ask them and see mm -hmm. see what they would uh, mm -hmm. would contribute about about this.